Hi, AM here, and today we're going to do an overview on the first of the four trilogies, the Golden Years trilogy from 2001 to 2003. And ever since I did my video of all 10 Bionicle years from my least favorite to most favorite, I decided why not do a video about why think about each trilogy. And I did bring it up, like how, how in that video, how 2003 was only at number 7 low, at number 5, 2001 low, 2002 and 6. Simply because those are years I more respected than one. Since I didn't became introduced to Bionicle until five years after it was launched in 2006 with the McDonald's models of the sets released that year being saved to par with Nike. Now when I look back, I can't believe my first introduction to Bionicle was that that piece of junk. And sorry I was being so negative about the wider way. Let's get started, shall we? So, now start off with, with 2001. Boy, what an awesome year it was. The year that started it all. So at this point, LEGO just... was dealing with its financial crisis a few years earlier, which is why due to them trying to come up with some fresh new ideas, which is why they have ended up introducing some construction sets. Like being 1999's Robo Slicers and 2000's Robo Riders, which both lasted only one wave. And the early is Lego construction set being Cybots, though there was only one set that never got released back in 96 or 97, probably. So I, but when Bionicle came out, was launched worldwide back in the summer of 2001, boy, it was a massive hit. Like, especially with those six Toma and also those McDonald's promotional sets. Like, see, the one I have here being Jawa, captain of the Takoro Guard, or the Village of Flyer. They have it, and they were the villagers originally called Tuhanga, but their names got changed to. And of course, there's also Oni Poo, Maku, Hoki, Matoro. And Kongu, who I have over there, though you can't see him as a toy knight. So yeah. And there's also the Rahi, which I have none of. 
Though I do have three of the Tarago or village elders, being Mad Town New Jew and Winu. <sighs> so, yeah. And there's also the Rhine, which I thought, which seemed to, from what I heard, they turned out to be pretty good. And there's also the Manui online game. And boy. How can I not mention that game? And so, there's these six heroes, of course. Ta. Uh, Tahu. The Hot Tempered. Arrogant. Yet brave and somewhat sensible. Toe of fire, and golly, the gentle and kind and peaceful Toe Wan, Kopaka, the old analytical loner wolf, yet independent and quiet Toe of eyes, and also Nua, the also quiet, wise and conscientious Toe of her, and also. Kohatsu, my favorite. The friendly, calm, and unifying Toe of Stone. And also Liwa, the fun loving, stubborn, and pulsive, and mischievous yet humorous Toe of Air. Uh, and so, guided by, being guided by the six Tarag elders, they each collect six masks, including, as well as a golden Kanohi. And then, of course, afterwards, and after facing up against the Rai, you go down into this temple located somewhere in the island, I forgot where, I kind of forgot where, called Kiri no. And they go down there, and they, and one half of them combines into, both halves, of them combine into two, Toakai. The one half being Wairua, Liwa, Kopaka, and Gali. The other half, Akami, Tahu, Pohatsu, and Onua. And they face up against Makuta's guardians. The crab like Rai, the Manas. And face up against Makuta, though in the form of a Matorn that looks like Jow, except with somewhat camouflage color scheme. And so they defeat him, and uh, my favorite part of the Manui online game, where it's Tao speech, when wisdom and valor fail. All that remains is fate, and it can overcome all. And also, Makuz, you cannot destroy me, for I am nothing. And so, they come back victorious, and that's what leads us to the following year. So, yeah. Nah, 2002. Of course, leave off from where we started off from the previous year, where it was the Toa who just defeated Makuta yet, but he decided to strike back with some bug or reptilian like creatures known as Borok. And they are sure at just as when Takua walked into the chamber and escaped at the end of the game. And they were warned by a member of Takua's village, or Satama Torn Kapura, as seen the first Bionicle comment release for that year, as he says Borok a few times over again, like this Borok, 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 when Tahu has, you know. And the two breeds that invade Takoro as all six Toa. 
head there be the coat rack, the bow rack of ice, and the paw rack, the, the bow rack of stuff. And of course there's the breed I have, new fuck, the bow rack of her. And overall I kind of enjoy messing around with this function showing knocking off the opponent's mask and how they can roll up into a ball and store them in their canister and use it as a little cocoon. And so yeah. And so thanks to the commas guidance the Taranga Fire. Each to collect a cron. All the names that I can remember, though, probably only four or maybe five. So there's Cron Saw with an X, which belongs to Swarm Commanders, while Cron Saw again with a Z, which I have the call version, which belongs to. Squad leaders being the second highest rank, which allows them to communicate with others telepathically, and also Vu, which belongs to surveyors, which allows them to levitate, sort of like Lee was mass power, the mirror room, and also Pranaka, which or shield, of course, Ka, Ka with a C, and Bo, the one this one contains, which belongs to Sentinels, which allows them to see in the dark. And there's also another one which allows them to tow through, just like with the new Vok. So yeah, and of course there's a Borak online which shows while the toe were off collecting each all a crana, the Matorn were help them hold were helping holding them off. And of course the Levok of course how they end up controlling almost everyone in Lake end up controlling everyone in Lake Horo except for Tamaru and Kong. But were then freed thanks to especially Liwa, thanks to Onua and also the some of the Onuma tore in their box. Which were made from the scarred gobbock, the bull rock of water. And so and once all six toe collecting all a crana. They soon went into the Borok's nest and battled the bo two Borok queens. The chicken slash dice were like Borok, Godok, and Kadok. And of course, with their Exotoa suits. They battled them, but when that failed, they somewhat combined their powers, I think, and after they defeated the Barai, they slide down through some tubes or pipes, maybe, down into some pool of energized protodermis and get transformed into the stronger, more powerful Toa Nuva. And the three I have being Pohatsu, Kopaka, and Onuva. And of course, and nicer we do and jo join the play features. Like, say, Pohatsu's quads, how it can combine together to form a ball. Ball Nua, how his chainsaws can be used as roller skates. While Kopaka's 
spear can split two to form ice seeds. Which seems like a pretty feature as well, how you can use your tools or weapons as transportation, like say with Tahu and his two magnosaurs, which you can combine together to form a lava surfboard, and Golly's two axes, which you can use as flippers, and and also Lee was two air katanas, which he can use as wings. So yeah. It's a lot of pretty good stuff for that. Except for probably the Borak followers and with the evil Turagan. Thank goodness I don't have either one of them. And how with their those little backpack things which they could use as cowpoles. Have craw in the back. Whenever a Borak moves its its craw and they would serves as a replacement. Oh yeah, evil, evil Taraga. Yeah, what are you gonna do with them? Shut up, Scotty. And uh, in the toe of Nuva's tools, the one that strikes me the most being Onuma. Like how his chainsaws can be used as roller skates. Ah. Uh. I can imagine what would happen if someone was roller skating with the hose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops. Ah. Uh, and now for the next year, 2003, which I refer to as the boost year for my uncle. Since that's, of course, obviously where we get some work. It's a major growth for this franchise when it was already pretty successful anyway since most LEGO themes tend to last only three years on average. Since this was a rich we could be the year and of course this was a rich we could be the year to end things off. And of course there is of course Bionic Luga game which I never played but I see some walkthroughs of it on YouTube. which no doubt was a somewhat poorly received game. And also a massive giveaway as I mentioned in the... for that year. As I mentioned in my video of all 10 Bionicle years from my least favorite to most favorite. Ah, uh, yes. And also... The Bionicle Mask of Light movie, which you see me do a reaction video of back in April of last year. And that's how you, being the video, how people first found out about, about my love for Bionicle. And of course, there's of course two story numbers. And of course, I have only two sets for that year. And of course, and of course, the Matoran God and up got their build a major, a somewhat major build upgrade, replacing how they were back a couple years earlier. And of course, the Borak call being nothing more than metallic, basically being Borak, normal Borak, except with metallic recolorings 
due to him being elite Pokemon. Corsu's goal is to steal the Toa Nuba's powers. Shortly after being transformed into the Toa Nuba. And so they end up falling them back into the nets as they with their stolen symbols that contain their powers over the elements and see the Boron call animations and they were also accompanied by the two Tomatorn Jowler, the Captain of the Guard, and Takua the Chronicle. Which I thought was pretty good. And also the Mask of Light movie, which I thought was actually alright. And even though I did say how for some reason I liked all four Bionicle movies almost about the same. And of course at the end they mentioned my newy being awakened that day. And of course Takua now this sudden toe of the toe of light talking Nuva facing up against the course Makuta Teranax, the main villain. In a game of and a game of Cole. Basically, which is kind of like either lacrosse or hawk, kind of a mix between hockey lacrosse or sock or crick ah uh, and of course and as we all know my knew he wouldn't even be awakened until five years later uh, And, how, and of course, in my opinion, I think I probably mentioned it in that video I keep referring to. You, you should probably check it out if you haven't seen it already. How, in my opinion, how Makuta challenging talking to it to a game of Kobe really feels more like Fall, Lord Fallenborn challenging Harry to a game of Ultimate Hot Scotch. Or Megatron challenging someone to a game of Ping Pong or Check. Sort of like this. Catch me, huh? You will never catch me, Harry! What play Ultimate Hot Scotch? Ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha! Come back here, Voldemort! Oh! Oh! Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. And there's, of course, the Rakshi, who gave us knees, but not elbows. That wouldn't be to a fall year with the Toa Metru. Especially poor Nuju. Hang down there on my shelf in the cross. My shelf. Those cracks, yeah. And they contain the second wave of collectibles for that year, being the Karana, with probably six different types, and also six different stages, maybe. Which you and the lids for their cancers could be even used as slots for. And of course, I pretty much had the mid stage cross, stage three cross. So, yeah. That would be my review on the Golden, my overview on the Golden Years trilogy of Bionic. So, stay tuned. Later, for part for the next overview for the for the next overview.
So as usual, leave a like if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to watch more content on this channel every day. But from now on, as usual, thanks for watching. I'll be back next weekend with some more content. But from now on, thank you all. But from now on. <laughs> oh, <I'm so> <laughs>